Okay, here we go. Next item on the list for my running gear in 2019 that I love the most. Do, 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 do. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. How you doing everyone? Onward and upward to 2020. Where does the time go? I can't believe it's December 15th when you're watching this. Got my scissors, got this box. It connects to today's topic about my top running gear of 2019. Now, how do you de even define running gear? It's, it's such a vast, uh, broad way to categorize uh, any yeah gear that we use as runners. And it, it's easy to, it would, it would be tempting to say running gear is anything, any, any piece of gear that we use while running. But what about recovery gear? So of course, you know me, I love my recovery gear. So I am putting it all together. All this gear that we use as runners, except shoes, because we've already covered shoes over the past four days, road shoes, trail shoes, but now it's just the, it's the little things. And it's, we could be talking about shorts, socks, hats, uh, hydration vests, watches, heart rate monitors. I won't be doing that, but um, it's, it's vast. So today, actually, let's do it. We're going to open up this box. All right, here we go. So we're going to open these up. Now, this is an important point before we get into this and shout out to Running Warehouse for getting this off to me is that how did I go about deciding what is my top running gear of 2019? It's really, it's pretty simple for me. It's uh, what was most durable, what brought the most value to me as a runner, and uh, what did I use the most, okay? Like sometimes you buy a piece of gear and it sits on the shelf and you're like, wait a minute, I haven't used that for the last three weeks. Did I really need to buy that? So that's really kind of my basic uh, thought process behind what running gear really stood out to me this year. So here we go. Oh my goodness, pulling it out. One, two, three, running warehouse. Thank you so much. Okay, so. I am um, running high volume right now, getting ready for Houston, and my legs are tired, I'm a little sore, which means I need to recover. So a couple of the items that are in my top running gear of the year, yes, of course, is connected to recovery, including what is in here, more compression sleeves, that's right. Thank you and shout out to Compress Sport. Uh, you guys know, actually I'm wearing them right now. I have calf sleeves on right now. So we've got running shorts. We've got, let's see, what is this? The da -da -da -da. Yeah, more half tights. Oh, I love half tights. Bottom line, shout out to Compress Sport. Here we go. And even some socks from Compress Sport. Again, just trying to push the envelope when it comes to recovery so this is my number one item and I, it's so funny because i i have them on right now i'll film them for you right now that right now those are compression sleeves in case you've never heard of these and the company is compressed sport the ones that i love the most and they treated me so well in 2019 with helping my legs recover from all the vertical from all the pavement in the last month getting ready for houston so there you go number one compression sleeves all right all right, away we go. Okay, so back to the, real quick, back to the support system of long distance runners from yesterday's vlog. We talked about that. Shout out to all the family, friends, spouses, teammates, everyone out there, coaches helping us runners stay organized and get out the door, uh, including doing extra laundry in the winter. You know how it is. Like in the summer, it's like you've got shorts, you've got a shirt, socks, Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. In the winter, laundry goes way, way, way up. So that is what we're working on here in the uh, here in the background. But right now, I'm heading out the door. Going to uh, try out these half tights from Compress Sports, and I will get you some more intel on this company, which I will just say is based in Switzerland. All right. So shout out to the Swiss out there. Actually, let me know if you're from Switzerland. I'm not sure. Um, there's a, I've, I've seen a couple comments from Switzerland, but anyway, shout out to Switzerland. I appreciate it. All right, let's go get ready. Okay, here we go. Next item on the list for my running gear in 2019 that I love the most. Now, this is not a new, like many of you probably already own this and use it daily. I use it daily, and many of us need to stay connected to our families or our office, our work all the time, which means, yes, you are carrying your phone with you everywhere, including when you run for safety reasons up in the mountains. That's why I carry the phone up there. Uh, so here we go, Footbelt. That's right, the company is actually called 
flip belt. There it is. I don't know if you can, I'll spell it there on the screen as well. And to put it on, you just step into it. It's kind of funny, but it just goes right around your waist like that. And then you get your phone. Hopefully you can see this. See there's a little, little hole there. And there's actually one, two, three, four. So you can put gels in here, your car keys, your phone. And it's crazy. You'd think that your phone wouldn't fit in this little belt very easily. Watch this. See, just like that. See that? See how it's going in there? And I always stick the screen out uh, just to help keep a little bit of sweat off of it. And then I just slide it in just like that. And then it's kind of off to the side and that's kind of awkward. So then you just slide the belt to the back of your back and it sits in there perfect. And the reason I like flip belt, so I also have Nathan and now Compress Sports, but I haven't tried this one out yet. I will do that soon. Is that I like the flip belt uh, company over Nathan. Nathan's is just stretching out way too much after only like a month and a half of using it. And it doesn't hold the phone as secure to your body compared to the flip belt company. Of course, I went with neon green and uh, it's just perfect. There's a lot of different ways to carry your phone when you're running, but I have found this one to be basically the, the most secure and the easiest to get on and off. So flip belt is my running gear item number two of 2019. And again, I know many of you already own something like this, but um, it's been amazing this year. Oh man, okay, now I'm almost ready, let's go. And I'm back from the run. All right, shout out. If you have never seen this t-shirt, this is the original Seek Beauty t-shirt. Shout out to Jeff down in Arizona. He made this shirt for me over a year ago. So Jeff, if you're watching, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for making this, getting the ball rolling in the merchandise department. Okay, moving on to the run today. Six and a half miles, about 840 a mile. Beautiful recovery day on a Saturday. Feeling good about that. Okay, and again, my top running gear of 2019. I have used compression technology in the past, especially in college, but that was 10 years ago when I was running a lot. And now that I'm running a lot again, I'm realizing how much I just need to take care of the body. So again, these are my shorts that I wear with the compression around the quads. And these are my calf sleeves that I wear right there. And I don't wear them all the time. Um, usually, usually every day for about three hours. And then I take them off, let the legs kind of breathe a little bit, and then I'll put them back on if I'm really sore or tired from a long run especially. Um, and what happens is the compression increases the blood pressure in that region of the leg, that area of the leg that is being squeezed, which helps bring more blood to that area. It also helps reduce swelling in that area. Um, so it's all, I don't know, like, there's a lot of science out there. You can read a lot of different studies about compression in recovery. I'm a believer, but go do the research. Um, so far, so good for me from the compressed sport technology. And uh, again, shout out to Running Warehouse for the gear that showed up today. Okay, and again, one more time, the flip belt. Uh, oh, it just worked amazing today. I'm just gonna put the phone in one more time for you so you can see it one more time, although it's a lot easier to do when, you're, uh, when you have the flip belt on. Uh, let's see. And just so you know, I actually went, so I'm like a, my waist is pretty small. I think I'm like a waist size, like I want to say like 28, 29 ish. And so I went with extra small, just so you know, I would go maybe a size down just so you know. Okay. So there it is sliding into the flip belt and then eventually it disappears and you don't even know it's, it's there. And the build quality is there from this flip belt. And I will just, I forgot to mention is that they do have in one of these four pockets, they do have a basically a keychain holder so your keys don't fly out and you don't lose them. But, um, but the, and these days, so many cars don't even have keys anymore. They just have that one uh, technology. My car definitely does not. Hold on, there it is, I found it, Th this guy. So uh, you can clip your key right onto that hook so they, it does not fall off. And there is the price down below for you on the title. Okay, and moving on to my next item, my top running gear of 2019. Of course, it's a recovery item, or you could also say a like a workout item. Like, you know, you can use this in, in different ways. It's my stability disc by Power Systems. I love it. I used it in college. I used it in the gym for the last four years. And finally, I said, enough is enough. I need one of these at my house. So I picked one up. And uh, for stretching, for strengthening my ankles, you actually, uh, upper right hand corner, if you want all of my ankle strengthening exercises, you can go check that vlog out from about 10 days ago. And this thing's amazing. It just, it stretches my calf and my soleus 
so, so well. So anyway, this is my stability disc. That is item number three, my top running gear of 2019. And last but not least, I decided to go with four. I almost just went with three, but I couldn't resist sticking this guy into the mix because you know, if I'm willing to pack this item, <laughs> drum roll, if I'm willing to pack this item to Amsterdam, to New York City, to Argentina, to New Hampshire, you know I love it. That's right, it's the Hyper Ice Viper 2.0 a uh, vibrating foam roller. I love this thing. I absolutely use this every day, sometimes three times and four times a day when I'm just a herding unit. Um, and you can use it without the vibration. So just like a normal foam roller, or let me just turn it on real quick. You can use it with it and it has three different settings. So this is the lowest. I usually start on one and then eventually bump it up to two. I rarely use three. Three is pretty intense. So one is just like amazing for the warm up. But then after the hard run, after the hard workout, I usually bump it up to two and I use it for my calves, my quads. Ah, oh, it's just, and I like, I used it in the airport and some people were a little freaked out that I was rolling around on the airport floor in Amsterdam. But listen, I was like, I was such a hurting unit, like really a hurting unit after the Amsterdam marathon. Like my legs were done and I pulled it out and I think it actually helped me simply make it back to my house so I could walk through the airports because I was I had so much lactic acid that built up in the first half of that Amsterdam marathon that this guy, I really feel like it saved me. So there you go. Those are my four items uh, that I love from the 2019 running gear lineup. There you go. There you have them. Uh, question of the day, what is your top running gear item of 2019? There's so much. We could talk all night. Maybe we'll do a live stream, maybe this week, about running gear. Uh, I think we should. Before Christmas hits, uh, we'll do a running gear discussion on a live stream. I will let you know when that happens because I'm intrigued to hear what all of you have to say, what all of you have purchased, because you could, oh, and I want to make one more point and then I will sign off, is that you don't need all of these items to be a runner. I just want to, like in high school, I had nada. I ran in cotton t-shirts, cotton socks, and I, and I ended up walking onto the University of Colorado cross country team. So this stuff is nice. I think as I get older, I need to focus more on recovery. But at the end of the day, all we need is a pair of running shoes. So don't feel like, I don't want you to feel like you have to get these things to be a runner. You're a runner just by putting your one foot in front of the other, getting out the door, getting some air in those lungs and having a good time and getting the, getting the wind in your hair, as I like to say. But anyway, that's the question of the day. I love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, tossing it back to, we'll toss it back to the ankle strengthening on the right and we'll toss it back to the foam rolling uh, vlog on the left where I walk you through how I use this guy right here. All right, you guys rock, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.